So guys, it's almost the end of the year and you know what? We like to uh, celebrate some milestones and here's one great milestone by Dr. Yong Razabal because he is the first, I mean second Filipino and I think the first Cebuano to finish the Seven Continents Marathon Medal, I mean to complete the challenge and earn a medal and he earned it by finishing recently the very grueling and challenging Antarctic Ice Marathon. So watch Doc Young in his, you know, in his like, in his homecoming. Watch this video. I'm glad it came on time while I delay. So I left Sunday morning, pa. Like 72, 72 hours, yeah. Six connections, no. Uh, to get so, yeah. the up from Chile, you have to take a uh, 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 jet. I think Mayor showed it, not the yeah. years jet. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, you have to reserve at least two years before, and then the race debt director has speci very specific questions. No? Like, um, he wants you to submit a, uh, a medical checkup, um, cardio clearance to check if your heart's okay. He will ask you how many runs you did, and then which runs were and then what's the, your fastest time? Then he has the ultimate decision, see Richard Donovan, whether to accept you or not. Um, this Richard Donovan is the first um, runner to do all the seven continents, run seven continents, um, seven marathons, seven continents in seven days. He's also the first to run the Antarctic Ice Marathon and one as well. Wow. So he has the ultimate decision whether to accept you or not. There are, a lot of instances where he would tell you either to do just the half marathon or not to do it at the moment. Uh, when I started running, one of my goals first was to get the six major marathons. No? So true, no? I did all the six major marathons um, last year. No? The last one yeah. was in 2018, Boston right? and London. So the six major marathons are Boston, London, Chicago, New York. Tokyo and Berlin. You know? So I did that, and then he got a special medal for that. You know? I think um, I was the first of one of to do that. So after that, uh, my next goal was to run all the seven continents. You know? um, I've done already the seven continents. Most I've done this year. Done. I did in January. I did the Morocco Marrakech Marathon, which is in Africa, and then by April I did the Sao Paulo Marathon in Africa. So the other continents which I've done before was Asia. Um, North America, then Europe, and then Oceania, no, which is New Zealand. Okay. So, Mona din yung last niya pinakalisod because this is uh, deep within Antarctica. No? Kung Mona yung Antarctica map, it's somewhere here. So, nasa po nga dito. Glacier yun yun. No? So, um, uh, what motivated me is, kaya, I, I wanted to run all over the world, no? Na, run in all seven continents. The training was um, to be more durable, so I was strengthening more endurance. No? So I almost doubled my mileage. Um, if I ran one hour a day, I made it a point to run one, and four, one hour and 45 minutes every day already. And then my brother-in-law was a storage facility in Mandawe. It's minus 10 to minus 15. And we put a manual treadmill there, and I was training there also to try out my, my gear. No? Um, if I don't feel well enough, if I was able to sweat, so my headgear. Um, because any part of your skin is good, so if you're exposed, you frostbite line, it's okay. Minus 15 to minus 20 months, so I tried that gear. I, I couldn't try my shoes there, because my shoes had metal spikes, so I can't use them on treadmill. So I went to the football, football field in Ateneo. I asked permission, so they allowed me to use my my foot, well, uh, my snowshoes there as a football field. So kana mo na yung preparations for that. Be more, um, to have more stamina, endurance, and then train in the cold and the proper shoes na a snowman. This is my first time actually to run in snow. So, uh, very challenging. There was a point na kusugay nangi na I felt na. My head would explode back from the stigma. Despite wearing the ski mask, naman na siya gamay kay ng bowl sa side, pwede mo carp. Penetrate ako ng ang hangin, so mo dry yung ice inside. Di mo fab ang double, but your eyes would dry, so you kept on blinking your eyes. 
Yeah. Well, I was wearing a clavang mask. One layer na magutu. I should avoid two layers of one lang. Like, do may mga hole para sa for your ears. So, iya ko ng air in your ears na. Hindi ni mo mo popping ng ear drums nila. Tama yung tushuk yan. Talaga ni Kaskin. Hindi ko siya ganang na. Interview. Yeah, I just read. So, there's two tents every 5K. Doon na yung tent. So, So I made it a point not to stay at least two to five minutes at tent to recover, kaon, eat, and then I didn't want to really come to shit though because it's my first time in this extreme weather conditions. I don't know if I'll be able to finish or not. So Carla runs in Bosa Dog. Um, how many uh, people did join this race this year and uh, did everyone finish? Yes, uh, I think there were 16. 45 to 50 and everyone finished There's the race. There's another, another battle. Yeah. 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 Girl. Yeah. Very wow. successful. Nice. The oldest is 84 years old. Um, he finished at around 11 hours. Yeah. Um, the, with the conditions were 11 hours. The race director really went with him in the last round. Oh, I'm not sure nice. my idea. Wow. Good evening, Doc. Kirby from Cebu Daily News. First of all, congrats on being the first Filipino to complete all the seven continents. A second. A second, sorry. Um, Doc, what's the motivation behind uh, completing all the race? Um, I'm a very goal-oriented person, so. I think I think that life is full of goals, and if we want to um, achieve something, we have to have an end goal. So every 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 part of my life, whether it's my family, um, career, I always make it a goal. Like for the hospitals, I have goals. Each each hospital has its own goal, and for running, this is my goal: running all the continents. Thank you. Doc, I think Doc, don't mind me asking, what was your time? The time was six hours. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so this is the first time that I've run over five, over six hours. Or maybe six hours. Wow. On but it's... It's it's different. Like I... You it's I... Slow, you your foot will sink. Yeah. So it's as if you're running it twice. Okay, an effort, but... Yes. I hate to try, it's different. You can't really stop that long, you know. Freeze the yeah. thing, but I was wearing two layers of socks. So it's like a stop or a walk. You can't walk long. You can have to keep your feet warm all the time. What are you taking look out of the way? Of, but what, how do you position yourself? <laughs> <laughs> are you thinking of Madonna when running? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of my family. And, uh, and I wanted to make sure that we say that. Intact na na kung fingers at toes. First bite is not to happen. The day before, naji briefing jud then. Pagkabut na usa kung taranas there was a briefing. Pagarai pa jud dito, there's three briefings. One by the race director, one by the doctor jud how to deal with the extreme conditions, and one is the one in charge of the logistics there and what to do. When these things happen, we were really taught what happens and no underwater effect will happen. I mean, yeah, the, there's a doctor that went with us with the nurses. And then snowmobiles were all around the track, making sure that nobody would disappear. Although today, flags have been going to be there. Some areas are going to be there, but some flags are The thing about Antarctica is it's very unpredictable of the weather. You can't even say when you leave, when you arrive, eh, it changes what day to day. So you say, oh, Madayot no Iglar Kaukma. They said, no, we, we can't give you the answer until a few hours before. That's how. Last, sorry to come in last year, uh, this year, okay, we only spent two nights there, no? the day before the day after. Last year, they spent almost a week. We were stuck there. Okay? The, the, the play to the take off. So, Doc, are you planning to run this again? <laughs> I mean, yes. Why not? Yeah, my 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 next run will I think we'll do another thirty. Wow. Next Doc, few months. Was there was there any point in the run when you thought about giving up? Um, not naman giving up, pero 
I was, there was a point that the wind was so strong, I was saying, what's going to happen to me? <laughs> so, can I finish it or not? So, I never give up in any race. Eh? My sixth, oh, this yeah. is my 60th marathon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> still up, I did so far. So, I, I said to myself, this won't be the first. Yeah. I traveled a long way. So, I was worried about my condition. Back of my neck, I was very thin. So maybe my blood pressure went up. Yeah, and he said, and the, the ears were so painful. After a while, I'm a lot of Is it anything wrong for this year? Not for this year. This year? Uh, six, six or seven. Next year, seven. What made you into running in the first place? How long have you been doing this? I know. I started running in 2006. Na. I was very stressed already in my work as an eye surgeon of the I used to play a lot of basketball. Then I decided I was stressed. I started playing again until I injured my little finger. Na. So as an eye surgeon, you cannot risk any injuries to your hands. I do I have surgeries almost every day. Just, I think every day. So if I injure any part of my hands, I couldn't operate anymore. So I wanted a sport na nothing to do with the arms. In the hands, so I found running, and then I instantly got addicted to it. Um, as you know, running releases natural endorphins, it gives you a natural high, but better than some say, even better than sex. <laughs> 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 That's why the thing about runners, like in Antarctica, no, we, were, we, we had meals together, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Their runners are normally happy, just happy people. But, so the running without natural defense, you don't see anyone who won't greet you. When you talk to them, they're very friendly. It's, it's really like that's a runner. So that's why I found a sport that would uh, carry me through, with, uh, especially now with my responsibilities. At the same time, that's the time I have to myself. I can focus and think about my goals and plans, whether it be for the hospitals, and my practice, and my family as well. That's the, my only me time. So that's the only way also that I can sleep well at night. So so many problems in the daytime, then I run, then I forget about everything, and I can sleep well at night. Yeah, no, yep. no matter how tired he is, but the thing that galing work, like 10 o'clock, Magarani pa rin <laughs> So, makabili ba? So, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Pero may time. Naapa siya ang time sa family, of course. So, we would wait for our kids to sleep first. Yeah, to fall asleep. And then, that's the time that he would run na. And then after, konting chika me. So, I stopped it, but I'm planning to go back because I also want to join him. So <coughs> keep sure. Our kids? Oh, um, yeah, Sean. Si Sean, yeah. Yeah, si Sean, na pake Pinky, then Pinky. Well, I training, Mashatap. Si Bell, to Alki, na si Little. Ayo, ayo. Si Gio, our youngest, to Alki, the 5K. And then si Bell did uh, 12 yeah. kilos, and then si Shandy did 15 kilos. Si Shandy is competitive right now. Yeah, he enjoys running the long distance. Really, for being the second Hey, one more, let's see one more. Doc, you said in your post, but you were going to undertake uh, another challenge. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> 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 uh, you announced it by the Filipino. Finish the <laughs> you have to prepare your yeah, body. It'll be soon, <laughs> February and March. Yeah. Uh -huh. Here's Doc Younger is about the second Filipino to ever compete the seven continents in marathon, guys. So here's an advice from him for all the runners out there now. And you know, how to get to where he is. Well, my advice lang is always be prepared. Like what I do right now. When I went to Antarctica, I, I researched it. I asked around. I saw the videos. I asked race director questions. Never go into something that you're not prepared. If you ever get a coach, start with the basics, the right stride, the right food, um, the way you run, the way you rest, everything. You always prepare. If you're not prepared, then that's when you get injured.
I've done most, I've done 60 marathons already and luckily I've never been injured. So there you have it guys, an awesome feat indeed by one of the, you know, active runners of Cebu. It's his 60th marathon, can you believe that? So listen to his tips guys and thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on our next videos. Bye bye.